in ecstatic love, love of God. So with the help of his companions, he took him home. By midnight, Srinivas had still not regained external consciousness. A little later, Sri Jiva Goswami heard, heard noises in Srinivas's throat and understood that his trance was breaking. He touched Srinivas's body gently. Srinivas fully con regained consciousness and awoke, chanting, Govinda, Govinda. His body was soaked with his own tears. Srila Jiva Goswami said, tell me your name and awaken my happiness. <clears throat> my name is Srinivas and I was born in the Brahman family at Chakandi. Sri Jiva Goswami immediately embraced Srinivas and said, my dear friend, Lord Guranga is certainly an ocean of mercy, for he has sent me such a jewel as you. Sri Rupa Goswami, Sri Sanatana Goswami are also compassionate, for they have given wealth to a poor soul like me. The next morning, Sri Jiva Goswami took Srinivas to see Gopal Bhatta Goswami. In accordance with the Lord's desire, Srinivas offered his obeisances to the Goswami from a distance and then said, My name is Srinivas and I'm from a Brahmana family in Chakandi. Kindly give me shelter at your lotus feet. Come, my dear Srinivas, Kopal Bhatta Goswami said, I'm too old to come to you. I'm glad to finally meet you. Srinivas came close and offered, again offered his most humble obeisance to Gopal Bhatta Goswami, who patted his back. Srinivasa took the dust from Gopal Bhatta's lotus feet and placed it on his head. He said, I feel terrible pain because of the sudden disappearance. Of Sri Rupa Goswami sees Anatan Goswami, O oh Lord, I have only bones remaining in my body. No one but you can save me. Please forgive me for delaying in coming to you. I wanted to study Srimad Bhagavatam with Gadada Pandit, so I went to see him first at Nilachana. However, the Srimad Bhagavatam, which bears Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's signature, was old and was <laughs> eaten by insect. It was too difficult to read it. Consequently, he instructed me to go to Bengal and bring him a new Shima Bhagavatam from Narahari Thakur. He has also given me a letter to that effect. Unfortunately, on my way to Nilachal, I received the shocking news that Pandita Goswami had disappeared from this world. Thus, this was just too unbearable, and so I went back to Navadvip to have the darshan of Vishnu Priya Devi. She sent me to Santipura, and from there I went to Kadaha, Kadaha where I met Janabamata, who showed me great affection and ordered me to see Aviram Thakur before leaving for Vrindavan. But all the great personalities I met, Vishnu Priya, Janabamata, Aviram Thakur, ordered me to leave soon for Vrindavan. My Lord, I'm most unfortunate, I neither saw the lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu nor Advaita Prabhu. My life is useless. <clears throat> I'm unable to describe Srinivas's lamentation as he held unto Gopal Bhatta Goswami's lotus feet. After some time, Srila Jiva Goswami and Srinivas bade farewell to Gopal Bhatta Goswami and returned home. Srinivas enjoyed his stay in Vendam by relishing Krishna Kata in the association of exalted devotees. He was so absorbed in ecstatic love that he did not know whether it was day or night. Once, on an auspicious day, Srinivas and Sri Jiva Goswami again went to see, went to see Gopal Bhatta Goswami, taking with them tulsi manjaris and flower gardens. After offering his obeisance to Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Srinivas humbly submitted the following. Sri Krishna Chaitanya is a spiritual master of the whole world. His teachings are incomparable and applicable to all living entities. And Sri Rupa Goswami has recorded this instruction in his books. I wish to be initiated into those teachings. O oh Master, kindly become my instructor and save me. My only desire is to become your humble servant. 
Gopal Bhatta Goswami took Srinivasa before his deity of Sri Sri Radha Raman and together they offered their obeisance to the Lord. Gopal Bhatta Goswami then sat on an asana in front of the deities and called for Srinivas who came and sat on his left facing east. Srinivas' heart was filled with ecstatic ecstasy as he grabbed hold of Gopal Bhatta Goswami's lotus feet and completely surrendered himself as his eternal servant. Bhattabhata Goswami told Srinivas to wash his hands and to meditate on Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj, with folded hands. He also told him to meditate on Sri Radha, who was standing by Krishna's left side. <coughs> he thus ordered Srinivas to worship Sri Sri Radha Krishna as well as the gopis headed by Lalita in the Manjaris by offering them flower garlands and sandalwood pulp. He informed Srinivas of the exalted position, transcendental qualities and service of the numerous gopis and manjaris and disclosed to him that he was a maid servant of these gopis. He then made Srinivas worship Sri Sri Radha Raman once again. After Srinivas had offered sandalwood pulp and tulasi manjaris to Sri Sri Radha Raman's lotus feet, Gopal Bhatta Goswami uh, placed his right hand on his head while chanting the holy name of Hari and thus initiated him into the Radha Krishna mantras along with the Kama Bija Gayatri mantra. He also taught Srinivas how to count the mantras on his fingers while chanting. You should chant these mantras with utmost care and attention, he said. Your spiritual form is that of Mani Manjari and you are under the care and guidance of Guna Manjari. You should always serve Sri Sri Radha Krishna under your group leader's guidance. This is how one performs Raganuga Bhajan as Srila Rupa Goswami has confirmed in his books. The principal criteria for achieving perfection in this path of devotional service is to develop intense eagerness to attain Sri Sri Radha Krishna's service. When a person practices sadhana, we call him a practitioner of devotional service. On the Raganuga platform one takes direct shelter of a resident of Raja. There are 64 limbs of devotional service. <clears throat> In the course of cultivating devotional service, one must carefully guard against unfavorable circumstances. One must always render devotional service to the Lord favorable, favorably. One should also carefully guard against committing offenses at the feet of the Holy Name and Bhakti Devi. If one deviates from this process, then all of his endeavors will be futile. A banyan seed is small, but it grows gradually until one day it becomes a huge tree. Similarly, one may deviate from his devotional practices or commit small offenses, but such deviations will gradually lead to his ruination. Be careful to never blaspheme the demigods or give distress to other living entities. In this way, always engage yourself in offering devotional service. <clears throat> when you study the scriptures carefully, you will learn that whatever I have told you is true. If you wish to become perfect in spiritual life, simply worship Lord Krishna and the association of devotees and always carefully guard yourself against committing offenses. Thousands of mouths could not describe the mercy Srinivas attained that day. There is no limit for his good fortune. Desiring to serve the lotus feet of Sri Janava and Bir Chandra Prabhu, I need to narrate Prema Vilas. Om Jnana Timina Nanda Sya Prema Vilas Sri Chaitanya Manubhistam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Svayam Rupakadamayam Dadati Svapadantikam 
Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadada Sri Vasadi Gauda Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare When I read this You know, it may sound like a big imitationist, and I guess we are, but I meet Guru Deva Tulanan, and then we say, oh, who will go to Bhagavan and meet all the devotees there? And then we come here. And meet the bodies from Colombia, Chile, Brazil, Switzerland, the Brazilian champions. And what we do here, we chant and dance and meet the bodies like Vishnu Maharaj, Tamal Krishna, Priyananda Van Maharaj. You see, I don't feel that I fit into the picture, but anyhow, they do. <laughs> they fit into the picture. They are so loving devotees, so emotional, so so realized. At least what it appears. You never know who is that deep in devotion, but who is engaged in devotional service? That's deep enough for us because he's engaged in devotion, so it means he believes in what he's doing. The ideals of Krishna are there with him. So, <coughs> today, today we are remembering this, how these, you know, from Nityananda, going from Bengal to all the way to to, to Vindavan, you're talking about a thousand kilometer walk. And that is still going on. The devotees from Jagannath Puri coming here to Vindavan, which is even much longer, they took 85 days of walking. 85 days. <laughs> and they brought the big Mahaprabhu with them. <laughs> they brought him practically that they re-elected the pastime of Mahaprabhu coming from Puri. There were 200 devotees and in all the villages they stopped and chanted. It's like a big Padayatra. 